Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, so a lot of you have been asking for an update on the makeover. It is a slow process because um, I'm trying to kind of sort as I go along. Um, it's, it's going slower than I thought I would. I guess I had high hopes. Uh, but we brought in some of the cubes that were on the wall before. They're up top. I'll show you in just a second. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around to spell. Don't forget, forget to hit the subscribe button, ding the bell next door if you want to get notifications, and thumbs up are always welcome. Um, if you're just now joining my channel, um, I'm in the middle of a makeover for my craft room. It's been trying to happen for a couple of years, but uh, something always came up like um, a car repair, a vet bill, you, you guys, you, you know, life, adulting, you know how it is. But uh, I was finally able to hit up Ikea earlier this month, and so it's been a matter of like pulling out stuff and now sorting and trying to bring it back in. I am a long way from being finished, but I thought I would show you a peek because a lot of people have been asking, um, and they were also curious about my sorting process. Now, right now, um, I'm just using the drawers to kind of sort. The drawers that the stuff is in at the moment is not where they're going to stay. It's just kind of like helping me, you know, decide am I keeping, am I selling, am I gifting, um, you know. So, anyway, um, just a cute, um, uh, not a cute, but just a short video. Um, last update... It was just this Alex stuff, this Ikea stuff here. I've brought in all of the shelf um, Jetmax cubes that I have. They're not all going to fit. I can actually easily access all that. It's just I'll have to get a step stool to get into these top two drawers all the way down the wall. And I'm debating whether I'm going to go one more cube system up for these three units and then leave all that open for display um but yeah so that's where everything that's the status at this moment i was hoping to get our upstairs landing cleared out and everything that i have downstairs brought back up but i it's not going to happen today um I only had a one day weekend because I had a 60, six day work week this week. And um, starting tomorrow, I have another six days off Sunday. Then the following week is Monday through Friday and I'm back to my two day weekends. But we're just shorthanded and that's the way it worked out. So um, my last video, I wasn't paying attention to what was on the TV. I apologize to everybody. Generally, I play DVR, and apparently on that particular moment that I decided to film the DVR, like I said, I, I keep it on for background noise, mainly, and so it turned off and went to regular programming, and I didn't realize what was playing, and I, it was a little disturbing, and I, again, apologize to everybody. Today, it's Harry Potter. We love Harry Potter in this house, so whenever it's on, we play it. But, and YouTube channels over there. But, um, I appreciate everybody who's been encouraging me and um, following along on this very <laughs> tedious and exhausting journey. But it's a long time coming and much needed. But, um, but yeah. Um, last time y'all saw this table, it was like stacked up way up here like you couldn't see anything you can actually see like onto the desk now um it was cleaner earlier today but you know it it, it, you, it gets it looks pretty and then it gets worse and then it looks pretty and then it gets worse and i'm expecting it to get a lot worse before it starts getting much better but um yeah we can actually see a lot of the front of my beautiful cabinet that my grandfather built my grandmother and I was fortunate to inherit. And, oh, I had mentioned to y'all, let me find it. 
I found this while going through everything. So my grandmother um, was an excellent seamstress. Well, mainly quilter. She just did a gorgeous, gorgeous projects. And um, if anyone has actually seen the movie Doc Hollywood with Michael J. Fox and Woody Harrelson and Bridget Fonda, that's the quilt in the movie. The exact quilt. My grandmother um, was contracted to um, make, I believe it's three um, versions of it for the, the movie. And um, she made the front page of... Uh, like the little local you know the local news there and that's my amazing grandma of course this is back in 1991 but uh I love her to pieces my grandparents are just absolutely amazing people and I learned a lot from both of them but anywho enough about my family um so yeah that is the current status making slow I'm sorry slow steady progress but um so so yeah uh have a i hope you guys had a relaxing or productive weekend i had a semi-productive week and day <laughs> um and so now i'm gonna cut this off so i can get back to working i think i have like another three or four hours that i can work on this before i have to start getting ready for bed um my husband's car uh, check engine light came on and we are we have a twelve hundred dollar repair so and we don't want to drive the car until we get it fixed so we're carpooling this week which means I have to go in extra early fortunately we both work at the same hospital so I mean that helps um, that means I have to go in 30 minutes early and he has to stay 30 minutes late and Yep, that's the nature of the game. So, I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you have a fabulous work week. I'm not sure how much will get posted next week. And there may not be a lot next weekend just because my daughter is coming in from back into town from college. And probably spend my one day off, well, half a day because she actually, I'm off Sunday and she goes back to school on Sunday. So, yay. Anyway, y'all have a... Um, fabulous day. Love you guys to peace. And as always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.